All right, we are back in the story of Janthier Wilds. Uh, there has been a new patch. This is the three month patch. Uh, thank you for the resub uh, with the new update. And we are going to jump into the brand new story right now. All right, got a mail from Scholar Glenna. I've been keeping up with your efforts as you have battled the Titans and Janthier. It's not every day that terrors from the Realm of Torment crawled back into Tyria. I'm going to meet you on Mount Balrior. Don't think for one moment that I was going to allow you to challenge these beasts without my guidance or witness. This is a critical research opportunity and one that we would regret not seizing. Don't kill them before I can get a closer look. Signed, Glenna. Okay. Um, where's the story thing? Janther Wilds. Um, is it trial and error? Uh, is this the new one? Let's see. Read the mail from Gix. Let's see. Uh, Commander. Farah Bale Seeker, our leading Titan archivist, is missing. Farah is the reliable sort, so her disappearing like this is highly out of character. I last ran into her checking out some materials here at the library. Nothing unusual about it. I told uh, I told that you, Malice, and Kate have been researching for Titan's whereabouts. You three should have a look around Farah's office yourself. When you arrive, I'll have Archivist Sestina show you to Farah's research station. Given these outstanding circumstances, you three will be granted access to the Priory regardless of membership. Make haste. Um, enter Dermon Priory. They mean, like, the main Priory? Way over here? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Haven't had to go there in a while. Monk, did you grab your birthday gifts in the mail? Possibly. A couple of my characters are over 10 years old, so they just get, like, repeat gifts at this point. Lornard's Pass is probably a very busy place right now. There we go. Uh, enter story. Commander, look at this place. No wonder they keep it under lock and key. Never could convince any priory to let me have a peek at these shelves. <laughs> now that I'm in, I might never leave. Is that... Burn me, they've got both copies. What else are they hoarding in here? We'll have plenty of time to browse later. The books aren't going anywhere. Farah, however... Gick said an archivist Sestina would show us to Farah Station. Let's start there. All right. Mm, Camp Mountain here. Gotta take the scenic route. Hey, Code, thank you for the prime. What are we eating, boss? Peas, meatloaf, and potatoes. All right, Archivist Welcome. Sestina. Welcome. Gix said to expect you. Sestina, Thera's mentee. I'm holding down the fort while she's... <sighs> Honestly, I have no idea what she's doing or where she is. Nobody does. It's very unlike her. Gix said the same. She doesn't seem the type to just run off. Even her research station looks like she abandoned it mid-thought. Uh, here, come see for yourselves. Farah's been spearheading our Titan research efforts, gathering notes on history, biology, etc. Hoping to find some sort of exploitable weaknesses of interest to you three, I'm sure. You have no idea. As is Farah's well-being. I can empathize with why she'd feel so invested. <laughs> Obsessed, more like. Your last encounter with that third Titan Ura sent Farah down an absolute. Forget to battle, take out from Bank, separate one from I've the stack, and account. I've to get absorbed in her work, but this time, she was a woman possessed. Leading up to her disappearance, she was buried under tomes at her station all hours of the day. I wondered if she might be sleeping there. That worked. And then she was gone. That's dumb, but it worked. Here we are, buried under tomes. Oh, you weren't kidding. I've been trying to sort through it all. Thought maybe there'd be some clue in her research as to where she went. But, as you can see, it's a daunting job for one person. We'll take it from here. Let you know if we find anything. Search for clues at Farah's workstation. Anything of note, Commander? Well, yes. Though it probably doesn't help our search much. It's some notes and first-hand accounts by the Coden. And us. Suppose the ward would keep the Priory informed. 
The Coden accounts seem aligned with ours. Spawn titans led by progenitors. Strange communication methods. Bloodstone thirst. Probably doesn't help our search, but it's good info. Let's take note, but keep looking. Search for more clues as for Pharaoh's whereabouts. Mistide journals. Entry 4. No time to grab my journal. I'll just scribble this here and add it to the rest of the entries. I'm back at the Priory. It's the middle of the night, and finally, finally, days and nights of research have paid off. Since leaving Janthir Century, all I've wanted is a reason to go back. I haven't been able to think of anything besides the questions I left unanswered there. Now I have my reason, and I may very well have my answers. It's all too much to explain here. I need to get going. I'll write more when I reach the aisle. Uh, Miss Tide Journal's Entry 1. First day on Janthier Century is in the books. It should probably explain what I'm even doing here. The Tyrian Alliance reached out to the Derman Priory for some extra help studying the Titans. Gix told them he had just the expert for the job, and here I am. For being so new to the global scene, the Alliance has been quick to establish itself. Already they've enlisted help from the Astral Ward, the Silvari Tree Tenders, and now the Priory. And the word is that the former pack commander is even running around out there. Uh, no, wait, really? I still can't believe my luck. Reading about titans from historical tomes is one thing, potentially seeing them in the wild, that's a whole other beast. I figure journaling will help me keep track of my day-to-day -day in the field. If I see anything interesting, maybe a titan, uh, claws crossed, I can jot down the details while they're still fresh. Anyway, storm rolling in, I'd best find some shelter. Sounds like it's going to be a mean one. <clears throat> Entry 2. So much for daily journaling. I've been so deep in research, I keep forgetting to write about it. Lately, I've been interviewing Coden stationed on the aisles about what they've seen. Some even gave eyewitness accounts of their own personal Titan sightings. I am working on compiling them for Alliance and Priory records. While the interviews are going well, Janthier Century's frequent storms are unsettling. I expected a harsh climate, the Isles are practically famous for it, but these storms are unlike any I've experienced. They're strong, sure, even violent at times, but there's just something deeply unsettling about them. They're also peculiarly consistent. Uh, because of that, I can't stop wondering about them, so I've made a little side project of my own to learn all I can about them, and I hear the rumblings of the, the of one brewing right on cue. Thanks for the drops. Thank you, Kyrie. Uh, entry three, my brain is going so fast, I can barely write quickly enough. Turns out my side project studying the Isles Storms is going better than expected. I've been asking around, and according to those stationed here a while, the storms in Janthier Century worsened around the same time the Titans first appeared. Even more curious, the Titans appear to thrive in these storms. Why? I don't know for sure, but my guess is that it has to do with Bloodstone. Um, several accounts of the Titans during mistide storms report them feasting, especially ravenously on Bloodstone shards. Once satisfied, they act particularly energized and aggressive. This effect is even true for those appearing injured or in poor health beforehand. And, for whatever reason, it only seems to happen during storms. So many thoughts here. Is there something in these storms' energy that bolsters Bloodstone? Would explain the amplified effects and also why they feel so off. Then, what is that energy? Where do these storms come from? Previous research suggests the Titans negatively impact nearby ecosystems. Could their appearance have been made, uh, have made the Isle storms even worse? Maybe, but it doesn't explain the effect on Bloodstone. Still, I feel I'm onto something here. Just need to keep uh, searching for answers. Uh, Titans and Environment, Observation and Speculation. Greer Bionic Influence Swamp. Called the Rotbringer by locals familiar with his putrid air, Greer's form has taken on characteristics of swampy regions of the slithering outskirts. Lowland Coden, Rainless Meadow, stationed near Old Gavril Plaza, succinctly described the Titan as swampy and gross. She recalled the smell curled the fur on her nose. Uh, an account taken by the Alliance from Silvari Kaith summarized Greer's presence as follows. I sensed sickness the moment I set foot in the area. You don't have to be a Silvari to tell the environment's ailing. One whiff is proof enough. But to also feel the misery of those innocents, the plagued plants, the poisoned waters, the leaves curled by death, the mere memory makes me sick. Being there was nearly more than I could bear. Uh, Decima Bionic Influence Storm. While not as off-putting to the senses, Decima's intrusion upon the stricken plains ecosystem was proved equally detrimental. The stricken plains, as their name suggests, are known for frequent lightning strikes. Decima's presence appears to have increased this frequency exponentially. 
Research conducted by Tyrion Alliance and Astro Ward members indicate a near constant risk of wildfires. This burn risk poses a major threat to the safety of individuals, wildlife, and vegetation in the area. Uh, lowlanders report a dramatic drop in the season's crop yield, fearing food shortages for the coming winter. Ura, bionic influence unknown. Due to her discovery being so recent, Ura's exact bionomic influence is yet to be determined. Uh, according to Alliance accounts from the former pack commander and allies, Ura used explosive steam walls to deter combatants. Based on what we know of Greer and Decima, this manner of attack is no accident. It may also be a key to discovering the geographical region of her hiding place. The use of steam may suggest geyser. And then it just cuts off. Um, go do the raid. I will do the raid. Uh, I plan on doing the story first. Hang on, drink of water. Um, also, why is this not updating? It's a zero out of three. Uh, symbiosis of... Oh, God. Okay, hang on a second. Mm -hmm. In case you're interested, unusual coin vendor in Lowlands is now selling more salt runestones. Um. All right. Symbiosis of progenitors and spawn. After killing multiple titan spawn with his hunting party, Lowland Coden, born from thunder, speculated that smaller spawn titans were acting as ancillary limbs for large progenitor titans. Battle accounts from the former pack commander and allies support these claims. <clears throat> we know that these progenitor titans to be Greer Decima and most recently Ura. Presence and migration. The titan spawn are spread out across the isles and have made landfall across Lowland shore, threatening the Coden inhabitants. While the exact origin point is still unknown, early sightings place them near Mount Balrior. Inner core biology. Accounts from Lowlander Rainless Meadow cited the progenitor Titan Greer as having the glowing inner core exposed upon damage to his body's exterior armor. A similar core was seen by the former Pact Commander and allies during an altercation with Decima, suggesting a biological consistency. Both accounts note the core's sensitivity to outside forces. Communication practices. Accounts of the progenitor titans suggest an ability to communicate among themselves and with their opponents across great distances using storm-like calls and other interspecies communication. This information has been confirmed by Astro Ward Scout Branwyn, the former pack commander Kaith, and Malice. Bloodstone, Restoration, and Regeneration. Concerningly, accounts from Astro Ward member Pela claim that progenitors and spawns alike seem highly drawn to Bloodstone. Many have been spotted feeding upon bloodstone shards to promote regeneration in addition to requiring additional rest. Similar findings were noted in field research conducted by the former pack commander Kaith and Malice. Um, hmm. Can't climb up. Look focused, Commander. Find something? Maybe. It's about the Titans and their environments. Kate has her own section in this one. Oh. You're talking about Greer's effect on the swamp ecosystem. One of the Lowlanders made similar comments. Don't even remind me of that putrid place. Oh, this must be from when I was speaking with the tree tenders. What else? Mentions the Titans merging with their environments and that Ura's steam walls might be a clue to her location. Now we're getting somewhere. Where there's steam, there's... A geyser, perhaps? Farah seems to think so. She suggests Mount Balrior. Well, what are we waiting for? Before we go chasing geysers up and down the aisles, let's be sure there's nothing more to see here. Okay. I'm coming up empty. How about you two? Same, I'm afraid. Commander? Sestina was right about Farah becoming obsessed with this research. Her journals say she was running a side project on the Mist's Tide Storms and their connection to the Titans. I can see why she'd think the two connected. How, I'm not so certain. Neither was she. She wonders if the storm's energy amplifies Bloodstone, drawing the Titans to its power would explain their fixation on it. She's still not sure what the energy is, or if the Titans influence the storms as they do other environments. At least, not where the journals leave off. 
Maybe she found a lead and rushed off to test it, confer with someone, panic. <laughs> Hopefully not the last, or we may need to do the same. I'm so behind I'm not even concerned with spoilers. That's the spirit. the third clue. <clears throat> I suppose it could be upstairs. Ah, there it is. That scrawling looked rather frantic. Should we be alarmed? She's in Janthea Sintry. Found something in her research, then left in the middle of the night. Doesn't say what. Uh, did she give an exact location? No, but the area near Mount Balrior still seems like our best bet. Let's tell Sestina what we know, then move out. Done with the food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh wait, she's downstairs now. She was upstairs earlier. Mm, nope, she's actually above me. Uh, what NPC looks like Heisen? Oh, there's a new NPC in the new Legendary Vault thing that people are saying looks like Heisen's character. You found something. Thera's in Janthir Sintry. Thinks she's made a breakthrough in her research. What is it? That we're not sure of, but she's been stitching together all sorts of threads regarding the Titans' behavior. Particularly their relation to Bloodstone and Mist's hides. She also thinks Ura is hiding in a geyser-heavy area. For all we know, she could be out there trying to track Ura down herself. What is she thinking? Going to those isles alone and not telling anyone? Sanctioned field work is one thing, but this? This is a death wish. We should be able to extract her without much issue, provided she hasn't done anything too rash. Everything about this is rash. <laughs> Go, find her, and extract some foolishness from her while you're at it. We'll do what we can. Best we get going. Meet you there, Commander. We'll notify the Alliance and let the Lowland Council know to expect us. Head to Janthier Century to look for for uh, Um, There's still more people that want to talk in here. Let's see what they have to say. <clears throat> Glad you arrived when you did. Archivist Sestina was about to march to Janthia herself to find Farah, and Gix would have let her just to get some quiet around here. She wouldn't have made it far, at least. I don't know Sestina or Farah all that well, but they seem passionate. Passionate may be too subtle. Obsessed, more like. Farah's focus is the envy of any Radisson crew director. Never drops a lead. She was Sestina's mentor, too, which might explain a few things. Obsession is good to uh, put to a good cause, admirable. Kimmy, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. Um, the length of this story beat is triggering my IBS PTSD a little. Uh, I, this isn't that bad, I don't think. Knowledge is Can I help you? Did Farrah ever mention how the Titans organized their spawn? I recall something she read or observed. They seemed to favor their progenitor, the originating Titan, acting as the body's natural defenses would. Upon the progenitor's death, however, she's unsure. Thanks. And knowing Gilders too, there's probably a uh, achievement here for talking to all the optional people. Maybe not, but it's possible. Knowledge is the greatest treasure. Uh, Commander, hello. Though perhaps you prefer Wayfinder now. Commander's fine. Did you happen to see Farah leave? I did actually, and judging from the look in her eyes, she was on the hunt for something big. She wouldn't drop her research duties for any old cross-dimensional disturbance. Thanks, I better catch up quickly. There it is. What? I... This dude's yelling at me. You just want attention? Is that it? Just a minute. Okay. 
Okay. Exit to Lornar's Pass. Monk, how are you feeling the new X pack? Worth it? The new expansion? Yeah, I mean, if you like Guild Wars 2, it's more Guild Wars 2. Uh, so I, I think if you hated Guild Wars 2 before, it's not going to change your mind. But if you liked it before, it's more good stuff. But, um, you know, today is like a new content patch. Something must be up. It seemed agitated. Um, all right, hold on. Where do I go? Head to Janthier Sentry and look for Farah. Okay, Janthier Sentry. Uh, way up there. All right. Hey, Michael Shad, did Adat mention the dates of the sales for Black Friday? I have not heard anything on that topic, no. I am not doubting that there is going to be um, sales, uh, but I don't know anything about it specifically. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of dudes. They said, send dudes! What is the map name appearing? That is Regions of Tyria. It's just a fun little uh, overlay that is included in Blishhood. Uh, if you do exclamation Blish, a list of guides will come up, and the one for Regions of Tyria is the one you want if you want that. Pokey, this is a surprise. Nice you seem in live. good hey, spirits. Rava. When we told the Lowland Council our plans, he jumped to the chance to help. Better to put myself to use than mope around. Plus, it's one less worry for my paw. Got plenty enough of that. Get to it, shall we? Is that a different so, voice actor? this Farah, she's a researcher and kin to our malice, yes? Well, she was Flame Legion originally. So more like what a Northern Coden is to a Lowlander. Ah, a long lost cousin. Well, yes, I suppose so. Oh, is Sam okay? Lost at the very least. Okay, so really quickly here, Poised Arrow before, I'm pretty sure the same voice actor is Bram, which led to me making a lot of jokes about him. However, the voice actor, I'm pretty sure, had like throat cancer for a while, and then he was on the recovery. So like, I, ho I haven't heard anything bad. I hope he's fine. But just seeing that they might have swapped out his voice for someone else makes me immediately like worried about him. Are drops active? Yes, lots of people have been saying they were getting drops. Uh... Okay, what is this? What's that ahead? Seems they're timetables of storm patterns. And they match Farah's writing from the looks of it. Unless the field sprouted notes of its own. I take it we're on the right track. Sam Regal had cancer removed from his throat, but it did change his voice. I wonder if this is Sam or someone else. The five transmutation charge is turning into streaming through the whole time. Uh, Sam Regal is the voice actor. He is still doing critical role, but sounds different. Maybe, okay, so maybe this is Sam and he just sounds different. I don't know. More pages ahead. Carrying needed supplies on foot is heavy enough. Who drags along their weight and paperwork? A researcher obsessed. Huh. Interesting. Titan spawn. We're surrounded. Weapons Are we? ready. Uh, can't finish a damn thought without these things interrupting. That's all of them. No, it's not. As I was saying, they're field notes on spawn emitting steam and sulfur, characteristic of Ura. Aligns with Farah's work. If she's documented them, I'd suppose she's met them. But is she equipped to defend herself? What armor set are you wearing? It's uh, rare a Priory right Scholar now, is also skilled in combat. Yeah, just full Berserker right now. Best we get to her before any more spawn oh. do. Burn me! Hold on, we're almost there. Uh, 
Para. Hello. Easy now. Defeat the remaining Titan spawn. Talk to Pharaoh. Should be all of them. Are you hurt, Pharaoh? I'm fine. It's my study that's ruined. You killed my specimens. What? You were cornered. What was your exit plan? Paper cut them to death? <laughs> it's called observation. Just because you see something doesn't mean you have to kill it, you know. Force of habit. <laughs> Regardless, Sorry, I'm going a killing machine. in these wilds alone is a fool's move. As is not telling anyone you're here. Gix was so concerned he asked us to track you down. And Sestina is worried sick. Worried wyverns, those two. Figured I'd be back before they noticed. Guess it has been a few days. Well, since you're here, I've got a job you might like. Puts all that aggression to use. <laughs> Follow me. What's this job, exactly? Testing a theory. So, those spawn I was observing? I'm certain they're Urus. But for now, take a look around. We're not far from the sulfur baths, but notice the difference? Hmm. Smells less like a rotten egg in a smelting oven. True, the air is fresher and clearer. Don't see any steam, do you? Nothing to cloud up the sun. You've been charting weather patterns here. Why? To keep track of him. Okay. Hey, bro. I've been watching him since I arrived. Each day, he ventures further out, expanding his territory. But the moment the rain clears, he scurries back to the baths. You've been studying the storms. Your note said they seem to bolster the Titan's dope. power. <laughs> Appreciate you keeping up on my work. Now you can help me test that very theory. And better we do so with the spawn before we face its progenitor. He's large enough to approximate Ura, physically and biologically, but he's weaker. We learn him, we learn Ura. We came to rescue her from danger, and here she is, ready to toss us right into it. But she does have a point. If we're going to kill Ura, we need our strategy set beforehand. Knew you'd see reason. You get ready. I'll get in place for observation. I feel like when Farah and Malice are talking, I'm hearing some clicking, which they usually do when the uh, bird people are talking. I don't know that I've ever noticed it before now when Char speak. Maybe I just have the dialogue louder than I normally do and I'm picking up on stuff I don't normally hear. Elite vent shot. Okay. Defeat the Titan spawn. During this trial, I'll be asking some questions for my research. Don't overthink, just answer. Scale of one to ten. How stressed are you? <laughs> the last three attacks in order of pain inflicted. <laughs> okay, the clouds are parting. Describe any changes in him. Weaker attacks, loss of stamina. He's putting up less resistance. His hits aren't landing as hard. Seems he's losing stamina. 